Hello everyone and welcome back. In this episode we're going to be making score and therefore also some coins. So let's start by creating a SPR underscore coin. And these uh, are simply just going to be pickups you can pick up and then they're going to give you points pretty much. So let's just make it 16 by 16 and then um, let's make a nice little coin. So there we go and we can like make a dollar sign on if I can figure out how to make that. There we go. That's a pretty beautiful little coin we have right here. So uh, let's just quickly center that and then create an OBJ coin. And uh, what we're going to start by doing with this thing is we are going to set it. Oh wait a second, we have to do it under the step event. We are going to test if place is free x y plus uh, 1 and then it's going to set y plus equals 1 this pretty much just makes it fall down of course so um, yeah and now let's also make a new variable under the control and let's call that global dot points and uh, you can use score because game maker already uses that as a built-in variable just like you can use health or lives so we just write point and let's just start by setting that to zero. Um, and the, the coin object should, of course, when it might collide with the player, set the global dot points plus equals let's just say ten. I think that should be fine. So uh, yeah, and now we also have to draw the coins uh, over there, the points, and that's going to be pretty easy to draw. Because we just we just going to draw some text under the draw GUI under the control object, and um, to draw some text we also need a font. So let's click the create font button and call it FNT underscore score, and we can make it. What should we? Let's just choose. Um, what looks nice? Let's just make it. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Uh, you maybe don't have this uh, this one, but I do, so you just choose whatever you want to. And I'm going to make it a uh, 16, because there is spider 16, so it will also make sense to have the letters to be 16 pixels. Uh, I at least think this is pixels too, I don't really know, but I think it is. So let's just write down here, draw uh, set font. This is pretty much just going to set the font to the score font. I now draw text um, color because we have to draw it in a specific color and we can draw it around let's say the center of the screen yeah actually we're going to draw it right at the center of the screen so we are going to say draw set uh, edge align and this is pretty much just going to uh, set where it's going to draw the text from so if we set it to fa underscore center uh, it's going to draw it out from the center, it's pretty much going to be centered. This is like in a Word document when you set the... Uh, you, you can like set where the, it writes from, you can set it to left, uh, center, or right, and it's going to write uh, the text there. So uh, this is the same thing. So we just set it to center, and now we can simply say... Uh, let's just take a look at how big our room is. Okay, it's 640, so let's just draw it. 20 and uh, 10 and the uh, uh, score colon and then say we have to put plus and then string this is just because we have to convert a number to a string so we write string and then we can write global dot points and uh, we can set the color to red and we have to write this uh, four times because otherwise you can like make it a like, gradient color so that it fades from uh, one color to another doing the text but we aren't going to do that we're just going to set it to plain out red but you can play around with this yourself if you, if you want to and we're going to set the transparency to one so that it isn't transparent at all and now let's just create some uh, coin objects oh wait a second we aren't going to do that we're going to go under the wave control and then um, uh, let's just say right here it's also going to create a coin so uh, every enemy it creates it's also going to create a coin uh, and we're just going to copy the enemy creation code and write coin. So let's try that out. 
And yeah, so now you can see two coins appear. And I think that the score looks pretty nice. So... Okay, and I forgot to destroy the coin, of course. This is a pretty common mistake. I do this a lot. <laughs> Way too much, actually. So we, of course, just have to write instincts. Destroy. And uh, yeah. Now it should work. But we also need to uh, draw the wave count, because... Uh, it would be pretty nice to see what level you are in, uh, a wave or whatever. So um, we are going to, going to go under the control object, and uh, we are going to draw that. So we are going to again set the 80 line to something different. This time we are going to set it to right, because we are going to draw it at the right side of the screen, and it's going to like draw out from the right. You can pretty much like think about um, where the origin point is of the text, just like you have an origin point of the sprite being in the center of this one, it's pretty much where it's going to draw the text from. So um, we could just consider that to write and then draw text column. And now we are going to set it at like 6, uh, 20, I guess, 10 wave colon plus string global dot. Oh, it isn't a global variable. Wait a second, it's um, obj underscore wave control dot wave. And uh, we are going to, of course, draw it. Uh, or maybe not, maybe we're not going to draw it red. Maybe we're going to draw it, let's say, lime. So yeah, I'm just going to draw it lime instead because I think that looks pretty cool uh, too. And uh, by the way, you can also make the colors from a uh, app. Uh, the RPG so that you can write make color RGB and uh, then you can simply like write the red, green and blue va uh, values if you want to do that instead of using the built-in color variables. That's just a little tip. Um, you don't have to do that but it can be pretty nice if you want to customize it a bit more. So now you can of course see the wave, the score and the lives. So our GUI is pretty nice now. And uh, yeah. We can pick up score and it works, and you can do live and as an idle animation, pretty much our game is pretty not nice now. I mean, it isn't like any game you should try set or anything, but it's a pretty fun little game. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make any more uh, parts of this series because I'm thinking on uh, moving on to making a more advanced platformer tutorial, but you guys can give me feedback in the comments if I should do that or not, or maybe I've already started it, I don't know, because most of my videos are pre-recorded, so uh, yeah, but uh, I'll just take it, try and see how far I can come in the game, uh, I think I can get pretty far, maybe, but I have already lost all my health, yeah, okay, wave 5, and we have 100 points, and it's starting to get kind of intense, <laughs> or maybe not really. Uh, and we are getting bombarded with creatures that totally are not Goombas in any way, kind of shape or form or whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just going to speed it up for you guys because then you guys can see how far I can get. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I didn't get that far, I only got like 390 points. But whatever, let's just end the video here because it's already been like 10 minutes again. So thanks a lot for watching guys and see you in the next episode. Bye guys.